Today we're going to take a closer look at how a jockey pump operates on a cut-in and cut-out basis using a pressure switch and how to adjust the pressure switch. Jockey pumps are essential for maintaining the pressure in pipe protection systems and ensuring they function correctly. This is a jockey pump system. It consists of a control panel, a pressure gauge, a pressure switch, and a pump. The pressure switch plays a crucial role in monitoring and maintaining the system pressure. The pressure switch is set with two pressure values, cut in and cut out. The cut-in pressure is the lower limit at which the jockey pump should start operating, while the cut-out pressure is the higher limit at which the pump should stop. Let's say the cut-in pressure is 120 PSI. This means that when the system's pressure drops to 120 PSI, the jockey pump will start. The cutout pressure is set at 140 PSI in our system. When the jockey pump runs and the pressure reaches 140 PSI, it will shut off the pump. As the pressure drops below our cut-in value of 120 PSI, the pressure switch detects this change. The pressure switch senses the pressure drop and activates the jockey pump. The jockey pump kicks in and starts pumping water into the system. It continues running until the pressure reaches our cutout value of 140 PSI. And when the pressure hits 140 PSI, the pressure switch receives a signal and shuts off the jockey pump. This cycle repeats as needed to maintain the system's pressure within the desired range, ensuring that the fire protection system is always ready to respond in case of an emergency. The pressure of the monitored medium operates against a flat diaphragm, bellows, or a plunger, depending on pressure range. A system of levers and springs works on a snap action cascade switch of high resistance to vibration, ensuring flutter free switching. Low pressure of the diaphragm closes contact 1 and 2. This can be used as a run signal for a pump or compressor motor. If pressure exceeds the upper switching point, Contact 1 and 2 opens and contact 1 and 4 closes. The applied motor will be switched off. Contact 1 and 2 will close again when the pressure on the diaphragm has decreased below the set lower switch point. Now in adjusting the cut-in cut-out pressure set point, we will use a multimeter to test the continuity of terminal 1 and 2. If it is in close contact, we can hear an audible sound. And to apply a pressure to the sensor, we will use a handheld pressure calibration device. As you can see, the pressure switch cutout is typically set to 90 PSI. Additionally, the pressure set point is reduced by about 60 PSI when we decrease pressure. In adjusting the set point, follow the instruction provided by the manufacturer. As you can see in the image, to adjust the upper switching point, you have to adjust the screw number 2. And for the lower switching point, 
it can be adjust on screw number four number five and number three are the scale reference scales are not calibrated so it is better to use a handheld pressure calibration device to get the exact pressure value The ideal cut-in and cut-out pressure settings for a jockey pump can vary depending on the specific fire protection system and its design. However, typical cut-in and cut-out pressure settings for a jockey pump in a fire sprinkler system are as follows. The cut-in pressure is usually set between 10 to 20 psi above the system's normal operating pressure. A common value for cut-in pressure is around 10 psi above the system's baseline pressure. For example, if the normal operating pressure of the fire protection system is 100 psi, the cut-in pressure might be set at 110 psi. The cutout pressure is typically set approximately 20 to 30 psi above the cut-in pressure. Using the same example, if the cut-in pressure is set at 110 psi, the cutout pressure might be set at 140 psi. For this pressure switch, I will set it to 120 psi for the cutout pressure and 90 psi for the cut-in pressure set point, which is the standard that we are using on our fire pump system. As you can see, we have a 110 psi for the cutout pressure and 80 psi for the cut-in pressure. So we need a little more adjustment to get a 120 psi cut out and 90 psi cut in pressure. And there you have it. The jockey pump operates on a cut-in and cut-out basis using the pressure switch to keep the fire protection system at the required pressure. It's a critical component in ensuring the safety of the building and its occupants. Thank you for joining us today to learn about jockey pump operation. If you have any questions or need further information, Feel free to ask. Stay safe and have a great day.